New information today about convicted double murderer Scott Peterson. Fox News learning Peterson has been moved to his new permanent cell at San Quentin Prison in California, where he'll spend the rest of his life. Meantime, Peterson is speaking out publicly for the first time since he was sentenced to death for killing his wife and unborn child. He issued a message of thanks to his supporters. It is now posted on a Canadian anti-death penalty website. We're joined now by co-founder of the Canadian Coalition Against the Death Penalty, Dave Parkinson. So Dave, uh, why did you guys decide to sort of host Scott Peterson? Um, well, we started our organization back in 1998, and since our inception, we now have over 500 web pages for people incarcerated under sentence of death, uh, not just in the United States, but in several countries around the world. Uh, and Mr. Peterson contacted us to take advantage of the service that we provide. Well, what is it? What service do you provide? I mean, what is he taking advantage of? Well, what our organization does is we allow death row prisoners a forum to express themselves on the internet, seeing as in most cases, unlike Mr. Peterson's, um, after trial and conviction, there's little or no media coverage um, of any uh, appellate issues or uh, any inconsistencies in the trial. What we're doing is we're allowing people who have been sentenced to the ultimate penalty, the death penalty, the ability to communicate to the outside world um, their own personal information. If they have problems with their case or are claiming wrongful conviction, we allow them to post legal documents on the web website and uh, we've been doing this since 1998 and we've actually had uh, about a dozen people or so who uh, ended up being wrongfully convicted who had originally written us from death row claiming their innocence and have since been exonerated by DNA. Or now has Scott Peterson made that claim to, to uh, you folks on your website? Well, from what I understand, um, he's uh, always maintained his innocence, and he continues to do so in the form that we provided on our web page. Well, is, is, do, do you follow the cases? I mean, is it, are you, do you do any vetting before you let somebody uh, go on your website and say things that, well, may not be true? Well, the Peter Peterson case, uh, unfortunately, was hard not to follow with the, uh, uh, the media circus that enveloped around his case over the last two years or so. Uh, but certainly, uh, from our perspective, we're allowing all individuals, uh, regardless of issues of guilt or innocence, to have a forum to present their best arguments to the public um, as a way to be heard. And uh, with Mr. Peterson having the media talk about him for the last two years or so, this is his first statement uh, since you, his arrest do you, and I mean, Do you quarrel with the, with the the verdict the jury uh, imposed on him? Well, uh, in Mr. Peterson's case, we're not advocating on behalf of his guilt or his innocence, but I will say that out of the dozen or so people that were wrongfully convicted and have since been released on our webpage, many of those cases had substantially more uh, factors uh, indicating their guilt at the time of the wrongful conviction. A jailhouse snitch, tampered evidence, maybe an eyewitness testimony gone wrong, maybe some faulty forensics. The Peterson case is purely a circumstantial case, and uh, considering the high-profile nature of the case and the media's involvement in it, um, certainly we, we do have questions about the, the validity of his conviction. Dave Parkinson, uh, Co Canadian Coalition Against the Death Penalty. Uh, Mr. Parkinson, thanks a lot. Let us know what Scott Peterson has to say. As you know, we're always interested.